uh, doing good. Just got back to Korea and uh, had some t Korean barbecue, you know, and uh, feeling good. Wayne's are tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, no, it's ten, I think it's like 10 degrees right now, and that's definitely pretty cold <laughs> for, for me, at least. But uh, yeah, I've been in the tropics now for, for like six years, and uh, and even before when I lived in the States, I lived in Florida. So, so yeah, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the cold, but it's okay. Uh, I'm supposed to defend my title January 7th, and the URCC is going to do their first show in San Francisco. That's what They just made a press release about it a few weeks ago, and uh, the promoter wants me to defend my title in... Uh, in the main event on the San Francisco show, so that that's going to be cool. If especially if it all go goes to plan and they they end up do going to San Francisco, it'd be the first time the U.S. season overseas. So that's going to be outside the Philippines. That so that'd be cool. Oh, like um, the fight. Yeah, well, I got a split decision. The reason I got a split decision is because I got a point deducted because I threw a knee right when he he touched and he used the three point rule. But um, but yeah, he he was really good. Uh, anytime I hit him, he was he was really game. He kept on kind of taunting me to keep coming and he was he had good head movement and uh yeah it was it was definitely a fun fight it was cool to do three rounds of just striking because we didn't go to the ground literally at all so that was cool uh i definitely wanted to do more i i could have been in better shape uh but uh i feel like i'm in really good shape now so i definitely you'll see a much better wheel choke in this top fc fight than the last one so uh yeah it should be it should be good and uh man i, I know he's gonna go he's gonna be coming in for the takedown non-stop and I know he's going to be aggressive he likes to push guys against the fence and try to get the takedown off the fence uh, I work really well clinching against the fence even if my back's against the fence so so I do expect to clinch a lot with him and hopefully def keep defend the takedown if I can catch him with some knees or kicks as he comes in uh, that'll be good uh, do I expect to work off my back for the first round or the second round uh, totally and I and I, I think I work really well off my back I've never been TKO'd by ground and pound ever in my life and and even if all my fights, if you look at all my fights, I've never, nobody's ever been successful at landing good ground and pound on me. So uh, I think he's gonna have trouble with that. He think he thinks it's gonna be easy, but uh, he's he doesn't he doesn't know what he signed up for. You know, he has seven fights. I have like with all my combined fight pro fights combined in uh, Muay Thai, K1, boxing, and MMA, I have 88 fights, and uh, you're gonna see a definite a huge gap of experience between us. And uh, yeah, you'll find out on uh, Saturday night. Yeah, I think I, I think I could triangle him. I think I can find a way to take the back if he if he messes up. If he gets sloppy on if he gets sloppy on any takedowns, I will be able to get a guillotine or be able to sprawl and uh, so and I and I don't think that'll happen in the first or second the early the second round. But as soon as he gets tired a little bit, which I know he will, uh, you, I think you'll see it at the end of the second or the third round. I'll be able to get a submission. You know, uh, it was going to be a title eliminator until I saw an article. I, I had to translate the article. I think it was from Rank Five, <laughs> for Korean to English, and then I found out it was a title eliminator. But uh, but yeah, they, I wasn't told that. Um, so I thought this was just another fight. I, I do I I think it's awesome that there's title implications. But I'm actually now that I'm back in Thailand full time, living in living in Thailand again, my weight's really low right now. Um, like I like I said, I just had Thai barbecue, and my weigh-ins are tomorrow. You know, um, I I definitely think I can go back to featherweight now that I'm living back in Thailand again, and uh. And I would after this fight, I would like to fight uh, for Top FC's featherweight title if they'd give me the shot. So, uh, so yeah, that that's actually what I want to do. I know Mr. Ha or and, and Top FC might have different plans, so hopefully I can negotiate with them. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, uh, I was training in Singapore. I trained in Shanghai. Like even this year alone, I've been in Singapore, Philippines, Shanghai, and uh, in Thailand. But now, like I said, I moved. My my wife's Thai, my kids are Thai, so I moved back full time to Thailand now. So I'll be there for at least for the next year. And uh, it's crazy because every region has different style of foods, and uh, and it's I, I notice how my weight is what depend on the different types of foods I'm always eating. Like in Singapore, for example, I'm like over 80, 80 kilos walking around. When I'm back in Thailand, I'm under I'm like around seventy seven or under seventy seven, and uh, so yeah, I really now that I'm back in Thailand, I feel feel like uh, confident to to go back down to featherweight again. And a lot of people think it's crazy, but uh, but yeah, it should be good. Man, Top FC is probably one of the biggest shows, just because they have it. They do it at such a nice stadium, the Olympic Stadium. That, that's really nice. Uh, man, they got a really good TV deal here in Korea. They have they live stream. They've worked co promotion with Kunlun, which is a huge promotion in China. Uh, so yeah, it's really cool to fight for such a big show. And and I know they have such a big following here in Korea. And uh, yeah, everything they've done is really professional, good quality. Uh, the 
everything's everything they do is very professional and, and I'm really happy to be fighting for top FC again oh man they're some of the more most passionate fans and some of the most educated fans in Asia uh, especially on the like you know they, they know they know MMA they've known MMA for for over a decade and uh, they're definitely very passionate and very uh, and very enthusiastic about the sport and they they know what's going on and they're yeah, they're, the crowd's always uh, excited when, when, when the fights are going, and uh, yeah, it's cool.